What's been considered the great resignation is impacting the courts, family court to be exact, that deals with some of the most sensitive and emotional cases. Now attorneys say without a pay increase, their clients won't get the quality free representation they're entitled to. As CBS News' Andre Klein Thomas reports, lawyers say they can't hold on much longer. For more than a decade, attorney Sabina Plater has been a staple in family court, from custody cases to orders of protection. My case load is really unimaginable. It's not something that I can handle. It's because court appointed attorneys are leaving in droves, saddling those who remain with as many as 100 cases each. I'm working late at night, I'm working weekends, just so that I can get to my clients. Attorneys blame low pay for the mass exodus. They earn $75 an hour for felony cases, $60 an hour for misdemeanors, and haven't had a raise since 2004. Lawyers appeal to the state legislature to be more in line with their federal counterparts, who earn $158 an hour. So the average practitioner I would say who has an office and has somebody working for them, at the end of the day, they're probably making around $15 an hour. Taking home minimum wage, they say, is unsustainable. And when the state legislature did not put any increases in the latest budget, attorneys took their case to the state Supreme Court. How long can you hold on? Not much longer. I know we lost a lot of people, really good attorneys recently, because they just can't pay their bills. But attorneys fear most for clients. Every night I I I lied awake just thinking about what was going to happen. Case on Fryson relied on a court-appointed attorney to get custody of his younger brother after their mom died of COVID. I had months to actually get this custody, or we both would have just been homeless. His attorney helped change his family's life. But with fewer lawyers and mounting cases, they say for new clients, their constitutional rights will be delayed, or worse, denied. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. The governor's office did not respond to our request for comment, and the Supreme Court judge has yet to issue a ruling. Oh.